Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this new Remo Drive album, Portrait of an Ugly Man. Remo Drive are a Minnesota-based emo and pop-punk band who really threw me off guard with their debut a couple of years back, their Greatest Hits album. Uh, mostly, this album really threw me for a loop because it sounded very complete right off the bat. These were passionate, explosive tunes with tons of personality and tongue-in-cheek humor. So much so that instantly I kind of thought that these guys were going to be the next big emo or pop punk band. But their follow-up 2019's Natural Everyday Degradation, honestly I had some issues with. Tracks like Two Bucks and The Devil were just as good as anything on their debut album, but some of the deeper cuts here, I don't know, it seemed to me like it wasn't coming as easy to the band anymore. Quite frankly, leading up to this album, I have been massively disappointed by some of these singles. Let's chat about this thing. The sound starts off with a guide to live by, and honestly, right off the bat, this is very unpleasant on the ears. I do like some of the vocals that we get towards the intro, but everything else, what even inspired this? The vocals here, just to me, just seem really out of place, and this instrumental just seems really, like, bulky. Remo Drive sounds shaky and unsure of themselves, and honestly, it's even worse when you consider that they are in genres and work with genres that an awkward performance or two actually usually does some good for an album. But without the quirky lyrics, the passion, the fun instrumentals, all of that seems to be out the window, and now Remo Drive to me are not nearly as interesting. Star Warship to me doesn't exactly sound much better. I don't know how in the matter of like three years, honestly, this this band has gone from being the fresh face of emo and pop puck to sounding like they don't even belong here. This track and most of this album is honestly some of the most uninspired punk or any kind of rock music I've heard all year. And you know what? I should have known better. I should have heard this track building up to this album and just known from a mile away. I don't even know what to say. What even happened to these guys? Then we have If I've Ever Looked Deep in Thought and I really genuinely don't know what made Remo Drive give up on their sound and bring in this fake indie bullshit. This doesn't sound fresh. This doesn't sound unique at all. They literally on this track sound like they are ripping off any indie band who's ever had an ounce of pop punk or emo influence. The songwriting is flimsy and honestly the performance is just don't excite me. True Romance lives. I don't know. The instrumental here, the way it just revs up really quick, actually got me a little excited. I feel like this track has some potential. Then the verses roll around, and I am genuinely shocked by just how cheesy this sounds. Lyrically, this is hard to swallow. That genius bar line, oh my god. Look, Remo Drive have honestly shown that they could pull out a great album. They've done it twice now. Not this lumbering, awkward indie tune though. Now, you know what? I'm going to just say right now, this is not a good album. As a matter of fact, it's a terrible album, but there are a few glimpses of hope. For one, Dead Man, I think it's a great track. I think for a few short minutes, Remo Drive really sound comfortable with a little bit of progression in their system, and the result is a pretty decent tune. Not only that, but this is one of the more visual and thought-provoking tracks here lyrically. And the soaring chorus that we get here, honestly, one of the best tracks. At the end of the day, this just sounds to me like a very natural progression for Remo Drive. I have a lot of the same thoughts on The Ugly Man Sings. It's upbeat and Remo Drive actually for a change sounds super confident. From start to finish this is just explosive and has these very dynamic performances. Once again, this is a very natural progression. I mean, if I'm gonna make any sort of critique, uh, I don't know why this track is well over four minutes long, didn't need to be. But still, compared to this really awful album, this is a great track. And A Flower and a Weed has some fire to it as well. And you know what? I'll be honest. Initially, I was probably too harsh on this track. Once again, this is a very natural progression for the band. They just sound very confident with this sound. It's got punchy verses, a huge chorus. It's very well written. I mean, for me, I may be looking for flowers within a pile of weeds. Yes, pun intended. But honestly, at the end of the day, I still think this is a great track. But the rest of this album is a disaster. Ode to Joy 2 is not good. This is just as slow. This is just as drawn out. And it is out of place. This to me just brings up so many questions. Why is this so overdramatic? And we are talking about pop punk and emo. Genres that strive on being overdramatic. But this is even out of the water for that. 
This chorus is way too much. It is so overblown. Not necessary. And then we have The Night I Kidnapped, Remo Drive. Oh boy, a five minute plus track that is overblown and overproduced. Out of nowhere, Remo Drive think that they have the ability to go for a much more complex song structure when they could barely finish a two and a half minute single here. And guess what? It barely progresses, it rumbles along in a boring fashion, and it's just intolerable, honestly. And between the once again overperformed vocals and an instrumental interlude that was so unbelievably unnecessary, I'm over this. And easy as that, as a finale, is probably the last thing I want to hear right about now. It's drawn out, and it's dreary and emotional, but it only sounds like that from a distance. There is no semblance of emotion here. Remo Drive do their best on this track to make it look like they have some juice left in the tank, but it's not the case. This is, for me, not my style at all. I'm sorry. So, yeah, you know what? There's, like two or three tracks here that show that Remo Drive have some juice left in the tank. They've already completed two very decent albums in the genres that they've dominated the last couple of years, but out of nowhere, they do this weird shift into, like, fake indie, and I don't even know what to call most of this album. All I know is it is overproduced, and it is void of any real emotion, not to mention there is no direction in sight. I really hope they get back on track soon. I'm feeling a strong four on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.